Hello and welcome to episode 11 of my Ixion playthrough. So we finally left the solar system. Uh, we are now in, what would be the name of this system? The Immortan system. Systems are typically named after their primary star or star cluster. So we're in the Immortan system now. We have done a bunch of scanning to get us plenty of resources nearby, although given the rate that we acquire in them at the minute, considerations are currently being made as to increase the number of ships I may have access to, but I'm not sure about that yet. Anyway, um, our science ship has finished researching here. I think I might send them back to here. I think we are allowed to queue commands, aren't we? Nope. I thought sending them back was a good idea, but I don't know. Just to give them a chance to refuel and stuff. Yeah, we'll send them back first. Um, okay. We have considered things. I'm inclined to grab this first or this first after the DLS sensor is done. While well, nothing has been set on fire yet, the fact that we have access to it. And then maybe this repairs some um, structures quicker? Maybe? kind of hard to know what does what sometimes. Poke construction speed is faster. Move faster. No. Neither of those are important. Time is not an um, urgent factor of those things. Construction speed. Repair efficiency is 5% faster. That might be worth grabbing next time we upgrade um, upgrade something. Special construction is faster again. We don't need that. Uh, EKP engine. Tyquin moves faster. That's useful to get next or when we actually want to move. So yeah, I'm thinking um, let's get the fire station first. We may not need it. But I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Oh, that was the wrong one I thought it to research. Research that. Cue that. Okay, let's unpause. Once they arrive here, we'll give them a little bit of a chance to repair. I'm assuming they will. And then we'll send them over to here. Uh, next probe, I'll scan this area here, see if we can find anything. I think... That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe I should send 10 additional workers over to both of these, just to be prudent. Only workers from Sector 1 to Sector 2, Sector 1 to Sector 3. Still leaves you with... Yeah, 20, 30 workers spare. But it'll leave this sector with a few more spare workers. And same over here, this sector can always use more spare workers. Okay, research crew is back. Oh, apparently the... Oh, we didn't... Yeah, there's a different bun to send them back to the Tyquin. There we go. Now they're back on board the Tyquin.
That's pointing to that which we've already found. Small amount of iron that's ooh 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 Uh, this lot's probably going to be best farmed from this planet over here, but we still have transfer loads of resources over here first. Okay, you're on your way. You are still mining happily. We are mining. It does look like one mining ship is capable of um, sustaining at least two collection ships. What I might do is make Sector 4 purely dedicated to hull repair or something along those lines. Mass storage of um, alloys and hull repair. But that's always a problem. If I'm going to have... If I'm going to have it mass storing something... Hmm. I'll finish that thought in a second, because I'm going to be interrupting you. Population the transfer complete. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Let's have a look. Um, so yeah, my thought was if I have a sector dedicated just to um, state or uh, the repair of the station or the repair of the ship, which is kind of what this area was prob is probably going to end up as because we can still get two more of these over here, uh, then obviously we need a large storage of alloys. Um, but if we have a large storage of alloys, then we can't transfer those alloys outside because we need them to say okay dump all the alloys here and it's only really when it's like these are making them to fill these up that it works properly uh, a group of crew members are complaining about the high level of smoke and noise in sector 3 um, the well-being of the crew, crew is a condition of mission success uh, it must be balanced against the main, uh, maintaining ef uh, efficiency of industrial processes. Pledge to shut down factories in Sector 3 for 10 cycles. We can do that. If all they want is it shut down for 10 cycles, we have enough backlog. That is not actually going to cause the problem. The bigger thing it's going to cause the problem is the fact it's going to um, start backing up storage. A science ship has arrived at its destination. You're looking at it over there. I'm curious about some of these. I mean, look at that. So long as this is a planet, then we can land there and then mine that. But if I, I don't want to scan that now because the ships are going to go straight through the cloud. There doesn't appear to be anything else in the cloud, just this large resource deposit on the outside of it. Let's allow them to finish collecting the science and then we'll do things. How close is our research? research is, uh, this should give us enough points for the research at least. has completed its scan. Nice. Oh, hang on a second, I didn't read that. Requires technology deep dive apparatus. Hmm. 
commits gas planet explosion. Ah, okay. A science ship whose crew has been lost will be automatically returned to the TIE grid. Science ship can science ship crew can enter cry, uh, cryonic pods to survive certain emergencies during expeditions. It allows unique interactions during certain events. I think actually it might be worth us just getting all of these. Even before the DLS center. Let's... We don't actually have the research points to be able to do this, so let's... Let's have a quick look at the map again, because there are... We can collect a small amount from over here. It's going to need a science ship. That doesn't, they don't tell us. It's the gas planet. What is it? How long are you going to take to get over there? Because that's a long way away. You're not going to tell me. That's kind of annoying. Let's see, we have that planet, that planet, there's a planet on this ring here we're missing. There's a planet on this ring here we're missing. We found this one, we're missing this one. Yeah, we're missing this one, this one, we found this one, then this one we know is over here. Um, let's send the science vessel over here first. We'll come back over here once we actually have the technology. And we will queue up. That one next, and then we'll grab deep drive, uh, um, dive apparatus. But we will still get the um, center first, the DLL center first. New probe should be ready any second now. Let's actually just identify the location of all the planets first. So we have the one on the innermost ring, don't we? Yeah, we are on the planet on the innermost ring. So we have the inner, the, uh, inner two most rings, which means the third ring. This is the one on the third ring, then we're going to need the one on the fourth ring later. Okay, it's been down for two cycles. Which is fine, because we've got a massive store of um, iron everywhere. In fact, we're over capacity by the looks of it. Food is slowly starting to back up. Was there a reason that I wasn't keeping the maximum amount of food in each sector? No, we are. Alright, it's just the minimum amount of food in there is... Oh no, it should still be able to fill those to the brim. I wonder why it's not then. There we go. Let's pause, because now we have access to this. Unlocks the ability to apply policies within a sector. Uh, to temporarily address ongoing crises and take a crisis and track a sector specialization. That is five by something, so it will fit in here nicely. Or 
or we can put it over here, or we can put it up here somewhere. This sector should have a specialization as well. How much power and people do this need? Not much, actually. And will you fit here? You will, I was hoping you would. Uh, to which end? Does that have an in and an out? It does, and it's facing the wrong way. I might move this to point this way and then put that there. Yeah, let's um, do some reorganizing. They're going to lose the benefit of this, but that's fine. We're going to... Ah, we do want to deconstruct that, but we can't construct this until this has been deconstructed because we need to be able to turn this. So we actually need to put that road back in. We also need to make sure that this has one circuit on it. Um, electronics. Sector 3 electronics. Bring that down to... I said that's a 1. Said that's a 1. And then said that's a 1. And then that should allow everything we need to get to the places we need them to go. These three areas will or should have specializations. Uh, we may not have the storage for this, we'll see. It sounded like a probe is ready to launch again. So we're looking on the fourth track. Ship's going to take a little while to get over there. That's fine. Uh, since we did finish that science, let's get that queued. This will allow us to do that. And then we'll try and grab exoskeletons. And then we'll grab automatically automatic ship. A probe has completed its scan. Uh, no, we will leave that for later. We don't need it now. Science ship's going to be 10% fast. We don't need that. We don't need the additional speed. Okay, we have enough space for that. You're being built. You're being built. It's been a while since we've had an accident. Where are my accidents? Pope's completing the scan and destroy, uh, discovered a new point of interest. That is... Uh, oh no, that's... There's a slightly different noise between the two of them, I see. Okay, we have one on that ring. Yeah. Oh, we found that one. Found you. Tutorials policies. Policies are sector specific measures you can take in response to various crises. Um, they impact the living conditions of the crew within the sector. For example, they might change the sector's working conditions, 
um, or resource management strategies. Managing your sector. Uh, a sector's policies can be accessed um, once a data listening center has been constructed within it. Uh, keep in mind that you will not be able to change policies as often as you'd like, uh, and you will have to wait between each policy set. Let's pause to give us time to read all of this. Okay, so yeah, we do need a DL, um, DLS in each sector. Safety gains bonuses when it contains a certain number of buildings at the same time space. Docking bays, load and unload resources 30% faster. Hull repair is 10% more efficient. So yeah, we need waste recycling. Starving population, stay at home. Infirmary, pile up. Memory capacity is increased. Everyone, workers first. Working hours, normal. Supported, buildings operation requires 20% more workers. Copters are turned into waste. Conditional and recycling policies are being activated. One food for each 10 people. So yeah, if we ever get if we ever get in dire need of preserving food, we can restrict it. One party allowed every five cycles. A new policy can be set in sector one. It would be nice if we could get a higher tier space. But it'll do for now. I wonder if... I mean, we've got a lot of farming buildings. We, you got to assume this is considered a food district. Still only tier one, though. One policy allowed every five seconds. So I think that just means we can change the policy every five cycles. It would be nice if there was more here, because most of these aren't really useful. The only thing we can really do is has spend, at um, spend stability. Science ship went over to here, didn't it? Oh no, science ship's down here. And it can do this event. Do I want it to do that event immediately, or do I want it to get the exoskeleton? Because that's what it's researching at the minute. Or rather, emergency cryopods. Oh, I was purging waste, that's why it stopped. Fair enough. Okay, so that's been disassembled. Let's... Get things reconstructed. Which one is it? An accident has occurred in the Typhoon. Three crew members were injured in Sector 1 of the DLS Center. How the hell do they injure themselves in the DLS Center? It's a... It's an office building for all intents and purposes. Um, let's send the science ship to collect... I was going to say collect the science from here. Yes, yes, let's do that. I would like to have the thing that's likely to save my scientists first, before I start doing more research on individual things. Principally just so that we don't fail um, this. Okay, stockpile sector three. Is 
7 out of 10. We can almost turn all this stuff back on again. Almost. Not yet, though. So we have the one here, which means the only planet we haven't found is this one. And once we found that, we can actually st start scanning for um, any other mysteries. Plus, this will allow us to see whether or not a probe can make it through here. Neocon protocols have identified a new planet suitable for our colonization test program. Okay, colonists are non-workers that have been trained in the colonist training center. Uh, colonists are crucial for colonization events. Uh, the number of colonists um, within the Taiquin is shown by hovering the mouse over the population icon on the top of the screen. Um, you can transport colonists to a destination using a cargo ship. They are represented by the population icon. Which planet? Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Does that request have a time limit on it? Um, which planet? This one? Maybe that one. That's probably the one. Okay. What noise is this? Okay, we have a while. Not a very long time. We'll wait until this is done. Okay, that's already paused it. We have so many resources, which is good. It's good to have that many resources available. Now, I thought I saw... Just finding all the research locations is what we're looking for. Insect farm in um, sector has been disabled. As so long as the hospital's not overloaded. Okay, so we can turn the hospital off if we need to. And um, pause. Now that we've completed that, we can turn that back on. That back on. That back on. We don't have the crew to turn... Oh, we can turn that one on. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. Power supply overloaded. Lost a chunk. Um... What can we disable? If anything. Probably nothing. Uh, we actually don't have the silicon. Power restored. That's annoying. The game was paused and I still lost, I think, 5%? We lost a, uh, a bunch of trust for overloading things. That is unreasonable, but fine. Okay, you're going to want me to colonize something, aren't you? If you put a time limit on me, I'm screwed because I'm not researching that at the minute. Overload caused 7% crew, uh, loss in trust in crew, yeah. Probe has completed the scan and discovered a new point of interest. How's the research going? Okay, uh, we got the one we wanted. Let's also get 
excess godsense. In fact, do I want to flip them around? Let's flip them around. Um, let's get excess godsense first. I don't think we have the research at the minute to do it, so we will do this planet without it. Summary of intelligence on Fargo 39 scans. Probe scans have picked up emergency message uh, broadcasts on the Dolo frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different uh, to the one used by the Tai Quinn uh, and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary uh, cessation in the high winds on Fargo 39 has given us a clear zone uh, in which to operate. Uh, we took advantage of the drop in wind speeds to descend and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense uh, and severe, uh, and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Um, despite the extreme host or extremely hostile environment, uh, we are prepared to make a sortie to the signal location. Well, <laughs> we will come back later. Um, we can just close this. Can we leave? No, they've already investigated it. So they're stuck there until we have enough research. Um, we're getting five, three every five cycles. That's going to take way too long. I would need to send them... We'd need to wait 50 cycles, wouldn't we? Tech Log Lab produces three science every five cycles. We would need to wait 50 cycles in order to be able to do that. Can I send them elsewhere? I mean, can I just send them to here and then to here to grab those, or grab the science from there and then send them back here? We are going to save Scum for a second because the game isn't going to tell us whether or not this is going to immediately cancel. If we lose the opportunity to do that by doing this. Okay. Yeah, no, we can't send them back. In other words, we have to do this... Um, as it stands, we can't use or wait for the research to be done. Send an experienced scout to the signal location. Send a small team of specialists. Send all the iceberg crew to the signal location, though. Ideally, you wanted to, would want to deploy them in an exosuit. Send a veteran pathfinder to locate the signal's origin while the crew guide them from the iceberg's cockpit. It is the least risky option. It is not a good option, just the least ris risky one. Um, okay, why are we being told that there's stuff in the planetary map? We know there's stuff in the planetary map. That's not helpful information. Okay, uh, no new issues. Okay. Uh, despite the high protein context, insect-based food is still uh, tainted by prejudice, feelings are discussed. Complaints about the food sources are increasing. A diverse diet is necessary for in uh, greens. Pledge to construct a new food source within 30 cycles. Is that even possible? We would need to get two additional buildings researched and constructed. It's not. They can be... Uh, aesthetic sensibilities have no place in space. That is not a request that we can... acquiesce to in the speed that they would like us to. We'll leave that one for the time being. We'll save it for as long as possible. I 
I'm only really looking for science that we haven't discovered yet. I think that's that. Yeah, okay, so we found all the science we're going to. Time. Okay, we still have stuff we can be doing. Um, does this count as industrial yet? It does. Batteries last 20% longer, that's nice. Just make sure we have enough iron here. That's yeah, you are still don't mind that. That's fine. If we can get through some of the remainder of our iron supply, start getting through some of this, that'd be grand. So as long as things are working correctly, Cobra's found point of interest. Yeah, slide there, that's gonna need gas. Thingy. Hopefully the miner is not trying to mine. I think it's going too far to get carbon now. Yeah, let's flip your priorities around, please. A science shift team has completed a task. Um, can you? No. I know this is nearest to you, but this is nearest to the ship. Can I tell you to return to the ship? Unassign. sign. No, that's not what we want you to do. We want you to return to the ship. I want you to return to the ship so that I can get you to go over to these rather than go all the way out to here, because that's dumb. It's a terrible idea. Get your ass back towards the center. Um, is there any way I can force it to do that? Science ship has completed its task, that's what it was. I can't. Okay. There's too much silicon over here for me to want it to do that. Um, if I tell you not to harvest anything... Then will you return to the Tyquin? Yay! That works. Okay. Uh, the Pathfinder has arrived at the source of the signal transmission and found a cargo ship of unknown class that bears a resemblance to one uh, to the ones we use in the Tyquin. Um, it's embedded with a rock face, or it's embedded within a rock face. Um, below a large uh, promontory. Uh, the high winds are making um, its balance unstable. Uh, recover the archive digital data from the cargo ship and return to the iceberg. The ship is in bad shape and the rough winds are not helping the situation. Uh, minimizing risk, enter and exit of the ship will be made as quickly as possible. Okay, and then once this gets down to there, has completed its scan. we can send it after all of that stuff. Skeleton would have been nice, but never mind. Nothing we can do about that. We need you 
you to get closer. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, what do you want? That's a battery. Those who suffer from um, dead earth sickness experience an intense nostalgia, uh, nostalgic melancholy. Uh, according to the Munich Care Protocol, uh, forms of escapism could aid um, affected crew members. Sector 2 would benefit from an alternative life centre. Pledge to construct an alternative life centre in Sector 2 within 10 cycles, which I can then immediately remove. I mean, all this is going to do is increase trust, isn't it? has two, and I certainly does not. Um, in sector three, at zero, zero. Let's just make sure we can get use, or can make use of that to build this. And then once it's built, we will deconstruct it. <laughs> Sorry, but you already have a monument. You don't need the extra stability boost. Is this going to... No. Shouldn't overpower things or anything along those lines. I want to. Uh, I'll do that actually off, sc uh, off screen. Um, start disabling. Um, it's like going after mining all of these and things. That would have been an easier way of doing this. It's just it's going to be time consuming going click, 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 click. Click, click, etc. So I'll do that myself later. I wonder if a probe has completed its scan. This is going to be a useful piece of information. Which probe completed which scan? I've sent multiple probes out to make multiple scans. Yeah, this is going to be useful information. When they ask me to construct something, do they care if I'm then immediately deconstruct it? A science ship team has completed a task. That is nicely timed of you. That is a large carbon deposit. Okay. On the way back to the iceberg, a strong wind um, swept the scouts away, redeeming themselves. Uh, they did transfer uh, across crucial data um, to the rest of the crew before they disappeared into the dust storm. Okay, well, they now need to... We didn't get any research from that, which is annoying. But they now need to go back to the Tigrin. Well, that's a pain. Not like we could do much about it, given the fact that we were missing um, probe has completed its scale. the exoskeleton. If we had had that, then I doubt the wind would have been able to pick us up and fling us. 
or pick our scout up and throw them around. I wonder how much, I wasn't paying attention as to how much research they gave us because it didn't tell us. Did we just get nothing from that? I think we've basically got nothing other than the information. Once they get back, we have them researching exosuits at the minute. We should grab the um, remaining research that's just lying around in the system. Get exoskeletons, and then we can consider actually doing research on the rest of them. Current action, new crew members boarding. We could tell them to do an entire sweep around. Although from there... Can they make a successful movement to there? I'm not sure. Probe has completed its scan. I could always just not be doing these scans right now. Question. I know there's not... Okay, so we do get a summary of the probe. Uh, the probe of the Valiant... Uh, the planet Valiant is dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located a, the remains of a ship in orbit of the pla around the planet. So we can have a look at just the basic description. The probe has detected a trace of Dolo's um, EKP signature in the Mark R1. Uh, tracking its trajectory, it appears to have entered the planet's atmosphere. Coordinates of a potential crash sites have been established. Okay, so it does tell me here if it explicitly needs a given technology. Colonization of acquires technology colonization trend um, set to training. Four crew members, sector one. That's not too bad. We can actually turn off those. Let's see another probe ready. Look at all of these resources. The biggest issue in the minute is still science, though. Good, we're still going to start to get some silicon, so... We can reconfigure these back to the way that I want them. I want four to be kept there, four to be kept there, and then basically... We say four kept everywhere, but that just means that this one will stockpile all the spares. Um, two to be kept there. No, four. We'll say four. Infirmary has been disabled. I do feel at the minute like we've been getting less accidents. A probe has completed its scan. 
Well, that might just be me. We could, in theory, start spending some of our policy points. I would like to waste we start doing something with this, but we don't really have the ability to do anything with it yet. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Good for them. We are getting about to the point where all of the immediate resources around us are basically done. There's so much ice around me that we just do we don't have the storage space for two thousand. <laughs> There's a lot of resources here. A lot of resources. Okay, these are starting to empty out. We can set that back to carbon now. And we can turn that on. I wonder why that wasn't, or they weren't loading that up yet. Hmm. A probe has completed its scan. Stop by in sector two just went down. Science ship has retrieved all the science from there. Okay, move on. New probe ready. Hello. Hello. Almost. Where are you? There we go. Oh no, we, we have someone going over there anyway. Here's some more. That's where that is. Can we get the water as well? Let's ignore the water, we only care about the carbon. There might be two lots of resources here. If only I could zoom in, then this would be so much easier. I think there might be like multiple... Uh, just a really large field of carbon here. But I can't find, like, the... or the proper area. Yeah, there's just a massive field of carbon of ice here. I think we're going to need to send um, multiple probes. We'll have to wait until we've got those scanned and then send another probe over there. Okay, good. I can probably turn this one over to this again and then turn this one off. Because we should be able to get through the remainder of this soon. Not that we need the hydrogen storage at the minute, but this isn't supposed to be storage for metal or storage for bellite iron. Uh, 
but there's just a lot of resources in this system. Okay, I think we will call it there for today. Otherwise, we're going to go over an hour. I will try to mark off all of these area or sorry, segment off areas so that we can um, focus down a little bit more on getting resources near to us. So resources that we found that are further away, we will try to disable them up until the point that we have nothing left to mine. So, for example, it looks like our miner might try to go down here, but this is going to be, or all of these are going to be easier farmed from here. Or potentially over here. So I'll try and segregate things off so that... Um, we don't get the issue of this thing going all the way over to here to get silicon when there's silicon right here. It will try to mine the nearest section first and then we'll just have to pay attention for when it says um, there's nothing left to mine. But yeah, we shall leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Friday with more of this and we shall continue to explore the sector and hopefully not lose more science crews. So thanks again and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.